Hello there everyone and welcome to the unboxing of the iPhone 6s Plus. Let's face it, you knew this video was going to come along, so let's just get on with it. So, yes, the switch has indeed been made to the iPhone 6s Plus. Uh, I did actually explain why I've switched to the iPhone 6, or in particular iOS in general, in a separate video. So to save myself from explaining again, I'll put the link either on the video somewhere and in the video description so you can click on, click on that video, watch it, then come back and watch this one. We good? We good. Right, so, yeah, iPhone 6S Plus, pretty standard affair on the box. iPhone 6S Plus, Apple, iPhone, yeah, information on the back. You know the score, you know the score with these. Uh, this particular version is, of course, the Space Gray with 64 gigs of storage. Why 64? Because it didn't do a 32 gig. If they did a 32 gig, that would have been enough for me. But, oh well, can't be helped. So let's very carefully and delicately, delicately being the key word, open up the box here. Gently, gently, there we go. I think that's all we really need to do on this one. And there we go, there's the good old iPhone box. Very nice box actually, in all fairness. It's kind of standard for smartphones really. So let's open it up. Gently, gently. Come on. Give me my iPhone, damn it. Come on. There we are. That's more like it. And straight away, there's the phone on top. Now, this is going to be bizarre, but bear with me. I'm going to lay the phone flat on a bit of cloth that I've got because I really don't want to scratch the back of it at the moment. So, out you come. And we'll get to you in a moment. That's actually very nice. I'll also, that straight away. Space Gray, Apple, iPhone 6S, or iPhone X. It just says iPhone S on it. Very nice all round. I will say that. It's going to make a very huge difference going from this, going to this from Android. So that'll be good. So now we've got some more bits underneath. So let's lift that up carefully. Now in this little section, underneath the little tray, we have, of course, designed by Apple in California, and this is going to be the SIM ejection tool. So yeah, and some little bits of info there saying. There's your iPhone, there's some phone info, and there's some Apple stickers, of course, as is standard. Now, the SIM ejection tool, apparently you just put that in and then pull the tray out, or I think you push it in. I don't know exactly how it works, but I'll have to find out in a moment when I sort that out. Uh, here we have the earpods. I'm not going to use them, but always handy to have them as spares. The uh, AC adapter. This is the UK plug, obviously. You can get obviously get this with the European one or the US one, depending on your region. And underneath that, we have the Lightning USB cable. Very simple, standard stuff. And I don't think there's anything else underneath. So, pop that up there for the moment. So let's take a look at the phone itself. So obviously we've got the usual home button at the front there. And on this, this side, we have the SIM card tray, which is where a nano SIM will go. I've actually got the SIM card for that. Power and unlock button, nothing at the top. And then on this side, we have the silent mode switch and the volume rockers. And on the underneath bit here, we have the mono speaker, uh, lightning connector, microphone, and three and a half mil headphone jacks. And on the underside of the metal finish, we obviously have the camera, another microphone, and a flash. So that's basically it. That's all very standard stuff. So I suppose I'm going to take a little bit of time now to get things all set up and ready for when I switch this device on. So I'll be back as soon as I can. Right, sorry about the wait, but I was just supplying one of the accessories that I bought for the iPhone 6S, uh, the Plus one, obviously. And that's actually a screen protector. Now, if you look at it, it just looks like the iPhone as it should, but it's actually got one of these. It's got a it's a 9H 
tempered glass screen protector that I picked up off of Amazon. I've actually got a second one just in case, but not gonna lie, usually when I get a screen protector, it's the most fiddly thing to apply. This, very simple and very straightforward, because what you do is that the actual screen protector comes in this little pouch. That basically says you put your phone up against there and apply it to this sticky pad. You then line up the screen protector and with the phone, apply this sticky pad onto the screen protector to lift it away so everything won't move and it'll stay in place. You then wipe the screen clean and then making sure there's no dust particles on it. You then use one of these dust proof or dust removal stickers to remove any further specks of dust. You then fold that back over once you've peeled the backing tape off of the screen protector and then you apply it. Then you apply it making sure all the air bubbles are starting to disappear then you can remove very carefully that pad and then that pad from the phone and that's it you're good to go so it was really really easy to do that and I'm not joking it was like the easiest screen protector I've ever applied and there are a few little blemishes at the top there but that would disappear over time but all in all you can't really tell that's got a second screen on it so that's the other reason why I got that one now I have also got a case for the iPhone, so here it is, another one I picked up of Amazon, again it was cheap and it's pretty basic, but it will do nonetheless, uh, is there anything else in there? No, I can't see anything else in there, right, so this is a Ring KE uh, case, now it does actually come, which is actually very thoughtful of them, it does also include another screen protector, but to be honest this is one of those flimsy plastic ones and they're a real faff to apply. So basically that's a no. Uh, it also comes with, if I remove that little pouch, it actually comes with a cardboard tracer. So if you want to have your own design, you simply trace around this, put it inside the case and off you go. So that that's quite nice. So at least you can add a touch of personality, but I myself am not too fussed about that. Uh, also this little case as well has the raised buttons and the access to the silent port, camera cutout and other buttons there, but also covers for both lightning and headphone connectors so no dust will get inside it, which is also really, really useful, which I really do like. So now all I've got to do is remove the, I think I can just remove that whole film off in one hit. So let's put the phone into said case now. That's a silicon case, so it should go in nicely. It looks like it is, so gently, gently. Don't want to damage the only new phone that I've ever got in a long time. That, oh, hold on, actually, tell you what, I'm gonna. Uh, oh, no, 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 the screen protector's coming off. No! No, bad idea, bad idea. Abort, abort! Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a bad idea. So what, put it in front ways first, like that, and then very carefully bring those up, prop that in, oh look at that, look at that, isn't that lovely? Now let's uh, get rid of some of that dust, for it. those air bubbles very quick, so uh, actually they will disappear over time hopefully, so that'll be okay, hopefully it won't lift the screen protector up, because if it does I'll be pretty annoyed at that, but it looks like it's all on. So that's good. So there you can see lightning and headphone connectors all covered up. Obviously the screen itself. That actually looks like it's peeling away. So maybe it wasn't designed for that, but still, at least I've got a case on it. That's all that matters. Uh, hopefully I might be able to remove some more of those air bubbles. So I don't think I've got those wipes anymore though. Oh, bugger. I'm gonna have to use a microfiber cloth to very carefully push those bubbles out and away from the phone. You know what that'll do, I'll, I'll run with that, fuck it, I'll run with that. That will disappear over time, I'm sure it will, so. Now normally at this point I normally go through the setup phase, but let's be honest, everyone knows the setup phase for uh, the iPhone. It's very straightforward, so. Basically, that's that. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for checking out the unboxing of the iPhone 6S Plus. Um, and I'll give my thoughts on it 
in maybe another video, I guess. So, um, until then, take care. Bye for now.